Tom here this morning? Engineer? Yeah. yeah I'm sure he is, yeah. Um, you see, I sent him in. I just purchased Tokyo Rose's microphone. The actual microphone that Tokyo Rose broadcast from. Wow. And um, uh, and I did it for a reason. I mean, I'm going to be I'm collecting history. And she was the most maligned person. The story of Tokyo Rose, as we've talked about on the briefly, is shocking. It's shocking. You don't know half the story of Tokyo Rose. You don't know. You don't know who she was. Um, and it's truly remarkable and shocking. Well, the one that we punished, yeah, yeah, there, I mean, were, there several were several, of them. several of them, several of them. Some the of them one were we, awful. Yeah. The ones we, but the one we punished is not. She, she shouldn't have been punished. She mm-hmm. should have been celebrated as a national hero. Yeah. But I talked to Tom, and I'm thinking about having it restored. I'm thinking it's about time that I start broadcasting using Tokyo Rose's microphone. Rush has his golden my behind my golden microphone. Behind Tokyo Rose's microphone, <laughs> it's about time that that starts to happen because we'll show you who we're turning into and we'll show you the transformation that the president is now calling for on gun control. Tokyo Rose's actual microphone. This is the microphone that she used to broadcast from Tokyo. Hmm. Um, and it's it looks very, very similar to... The microphone that I use yeah, uh, it does, every uh, day. Except for, I mean, like if you put a spit shine on that, it'd be about the same deal. Yeah, but it's, I mean, if you look at the front, I don't, and I don't read Japanese. If, if we should get this translated, I don't know what this says at the bottom, um, but it is in, uh, it's in Japanese. And this is the, um, when the armed forces came in, one of the guys got off the Navy ship and went, he was going to kill her and uh, she was already gone and... So he took the microphone and burned down the uh, Radio Tokyo, burned it down. But this is the, and there's pictures of Tokyo Rose using this microphone. Now, the story on Tokyo Rose that most people don't know is that she... First of all, there were were, five of them. Yeah, there were several of them. Yeah. But the one that we prosecuted, the one that is famous, was actually on our side. Mm -hmm. And she was trying Mm -hmm. to help. She would go down and she would help our prisoner of war. She would go down and she was... She was working with these writers. We have this coming out in, in a book called um, Massacres and Miracles, the true story of American history that you just have never heard. And uh, you won't believe the writers and what they were doing and the things that she was involved with that were great. But I'm, uh, I bought this because it's a significant piece of history that needs to be preserved and needs to be corrected. But when I got it, I... I I called a bunch of uh, historians and said, would I do, would I devalue it? Would I hurt the value of this thing or destroy its history if I replace the ribbon inside? Because the ribbon has got to be damaged. We've not even opened it up. But I, there's no way this thing even works. And I want to plug it in. And I, I've been thinking about it just this weekend. I think it's about time that we accept our role as a rebel broadcast group because it's out of control. If this is the way America is going to be, if this is if this is who you choose to be, America, a bunch of cattle that is just rounded up and told what to do, uh, I'm not interested in I'm not interested in being a, an American broadcaster. Somebody has got to tell the truth. And luckily, there's a lot of people telling the truth. 